Hi, it's Chester Topwell of Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at the VBA code needed to sort a column within an Excel table based on color. So essentially what we want to do is we want to get all these red product codes to the top of that column. Now I've done a little bit of work for you up front here. I've declared three variables. Let me explain why I've done that. So first of all, I've declared a variable for the worksheet and I've set that to the active sheet. Then I've declared a variable for the table that I'm going to sort in. You declare that as a list object. And then I've set that to the transactions table, which is what this table is called, transactions. And then I've set a variable for the column I'm going to sort by as a range. And I've set it down here to equal the product ID column. Now that'll just make the code a lot neater. It will do the actual sorting down here. I won't have to include all this information because I've already done up up here. So I'll we'll start with a with statement and I'm going to refer to the table list object. And I want to use the sort property of that list object. And I'm going to end with Now, with that sort property, I'm going to refer to a property of it called sort fields. And the first thing I'm going to do is clear any existing sort fields. Then I'm going to apply my own sort field with the add method. And that has a number of parameters that we've got to use, the first of which is key, and that's just asking for the column we want to sort by. And I've already defined that as sort col, the product ID column, comma. Then I need to say what I'm actually going to sort on. Is it going to be values? Is it going to be font color? Is it going to be cell color? Whatever. Well, it's going to be cell color for us. Now a little trick for you. If you do control space, it opens up the IntelliSense list. And if I start typing Excel sort on, you'll see we have here Excel sort on color, but you could also sort on font color. So we're doing cell color. Okay, so close the bracket there. And then what I have to do, if I just come down the line, so you can see what I am doing, is you then specify sort on value property, the sort on value property. I won't dent that just to make it clear as a continuation of this line. And I'm going to refer to its color. Now the color, this is going to cause an error when I do this, but no, it's not actually. The color, I'm going to specify as an RGB color. So if I select that cell, and I go to more colors, custom, you can see the RGB value there, 255510. So I can say RGB 255510, there's bracket. And then the last thing I need to do is to apply the sort, the apply method. Okay, so that's the code that you actually need. That's what actually does the sorting because it's been made a lot simpler and neater by setting up all these variables um, beforehand. Now, let's play it and see if it works. And there we are, you get the uh, those cells with that font color at the top of the list. Okay, thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.